Hi, my name is Ketan Patel, Product Manager of Multiware Systems at Evits. Today I'm going to talk about web-based de design tool for all of our new Evits Multiwares. The design tool can be accessed through any web browser. So as you can see on the screen, I'm using a Firefox uh, browser and I can select one of my Multiwares by selecting my hardware, which could be sorted by the rooms or the areas. You could uh, upload different assets into the multiverse. For example, the fonts, you can upload up to 12 fonts. So the Magnum design tool allows you to upload background images, graphics, video loss images, which is useful. If people are working from home, you want to put a message on it saying that if you see this, call XYZ number. So it provides you the benefit of people working from home as well to reach out to certain people different systems, so some of the legacy multi are also supported by Magnum, so you could add that as a system and the layouts as well. And then you can also filter all the displays to see what multi you want to load. So for example, I'm going to work with one of them on a live display that you see on the screen. So in order for doing any editing, first you need to unlock the windows. If it's locked, you can only make the basic changes like assigning a sources to the windows or re-editing the UMD text names. It will not let you change the layouts. So I can go and load my different templates of layouts from this thing as a live, as a live design. So as I load it up, it will change on the screen. So this is live design. I can go and recreate from the scratch using a grid function. So I can go and specify saying that I want to create a four by four grid and then a 16 by aspect ratio or a four by aspect ratios and it will generate a best fit layout on the screen for you. And then you can go and assign the sources as we go along. So as you can see on the screen, it will basically start populating the sources as I assign the sources to it. I can also do the drag and drop for the 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 widgets and assign the sources. And then I can associate the audio bars on top of it. So you can assign the audio bars on top of it or outside and then I can connect it to my video widgets and then that will basically allow um, designing of layouts with the uh, associated widgets on top of the video or outside of the video which is little unique from what we had it previously with the Mastro design tool. You could also drag and drop the UMDs outside of the video window and associate it with the video. And so ship with though and that basically is something unique and allows you more flexibility for the users to design the layouts. There are also templates available that user can use. So for example, if I want to use one of the template which has already predefined uh, properties to it, I can go back to my widget, say I want to create my grid. I can create my grid and basically define again, I want to create a two by two layout. And then I can basically assign the sources that I need. So this allows the users the ability to quickly design their layouts as, or the preset as they need and get up and running in a very short period of time. There are different widgets which allows you to customize as your need. For example, I can put my status level which provides me the uh, information regarding video standard, AFD data, XDS data, your loudness monitoring, you can do all that stuff. 
You can also enable the captioning right from here. You see the uh, CC icon. When you click on it, it will get uh, highlighted. That means it's enabled. The captioning will show up on screen. Um, and the same thing for audio forwarding. If you want to forward the audio, you can click and that is basically enabling the audio forwarding for the operator to be able to listen to the audio for any specific pick on the screen. User can also put the customized text label, so you can basically drag, drop, and then you can actually enter the text on the label. And it, it shows up on screen. So that gives you the flexibility of entire layouts and customizes as you need. You can also enter the, or you can also resize them in group or individually. You could actually resize the displays or the selected windows accordingly and individually as well. And all the objects within the window will get resized accordingly. So it provides you the ultimate flexibility to uh, redesign your layouts as you need or customize the layout as you need. Um, it also provides digital as well as analog clocks. So depending upon your preference, you can use digital clock as well as analog clock. It also provides you the ability to offset the time zones. So if you need to have the multiple different time zones displayed, it allows you to do that, as well as up-down timers as well. So it supports up-down timer that can be configured. Or you can bring up the graphics and assign the image to it. As I mentioned, you could have all those customized layouts stored and then it's quick, easy, drag and drop. And I can quickly change between that one. So here is the example of one layout with the background and different uh, feature sets that is being highlighted. For example, different number of channels of audios with the segmentation, without the segmentation, with the view meters, um, AFD codes, video standards. So it provides you different options that you can actually use uh, to monitor different types of signals or different uh, compliance things that you might need to monitor. For a customized demo for you, please reach out to your sales rep. And to learn more about the Evots Multiwear, visit evots.com.